Okay. So before we start, I'm just going to tell you I'm going to solve this problem two different ways. You can choose the method that um, you think is easier to understand. Right? So what this problem is saying is 4 times some number is 132. Okay. So before I even start, I could divide this by 4, right? So now this side is just 5x plus 3, and let's see, 4 goes into 132, um, 33 times. So let's think about this for a second, just conceptually. 4 times some number is 132. Well, 4 times 33 is 132. So that means this 5x plus 3 has to equal 33. Okay, this has to be 33 for this to work. So you can kind of do this problem a little conceptually that way. And now we can just go ahead and solve this. We're going to subtract 3 from both sides. Five x equals 30. Okay. So what's x? It's 6. If you don't see that right away, go ahead and divide, because 5 times x, so I would divide to eliminate that. So this is 1x is equal to 6. So that's one way to do it. Don't even distribute. You can go ahead and divide by 4 to start because we just want to know how do I make this expression be 33. The other way, I'm going to write, rewrite this problem, is go ahead and simplify this left side. So I have four groups of 5x plus 3. So that means I have 20x plus 12. I distributed. Over here I have 132. Okay. Now we just go ahead and solve this like any two-step equation. 12 minus 12, zero pair. 20x is equal to 120. Divide by 20 and I get 6. Same exact answer, I just solved it differently. Okay. So this next problem, you could do it same idea. I know that this number has to be 11, right? Because 8 times 11 is 88. So you could just say x plus 7 equals 11. What's x? Or we can go ahead and distribute 8 times x, 8 times 7, And now we just solve this, subtract our 56, zero pair. What is x? It's 4. If you don't see that, it's 32 divided by 8. x is 4. All right, now these get a little trickier here. Again, there's a lot of different ways that you can solve this. I could subtract 4 from both sides right away. And then the problem becomes like 5 and 6. Or I could go ahead and simplify this side first. So I think I'm going to do that. I have 6 groups of 4x minus 7. 6 times 4. 6 times negative 7. Still have the plus 4. I'm going to go ahead and simplify this side. Okay. Now we have to start undoing the left side to get x by itself, so we're going to add 38. And I get 2, 5, 6, 7, 9, 192. Equals 24x. Okay, move this down a little. So, what number times 24 is 192? We need to do some division. So, x is going to be 8. Okay, oops, sorry about that. A little hard to see. x is equal to 8. Like I said, if, uh, right at the beginning, you could have subtracted 4 and had this be 150. Then you could have divided by 6, 
and then you end up with 4x minus 7 is equal to 150 divided by 6, which is 25, and you could have solved it that way. Okay. All right, next problem. This one's a little uglier. I'm going to have to simplify this side. So I have negative 7 times x, negative 7 times 1, it's negative 7, minus 5x. I need to combine like terms. I have negative 7x and negative 5x. That's negative 12x's. All right, got to get this x over here by itself. So let's add 7. I end up with 96 is equal to negative 12x. Oh, that's a negative 96. Wow, almost made a similar mistake to many of you. Negative 103 plus 7 is negative 96. We're going to divide by a negative 12, and we end up with x equals 8. All right, let's just double check. A negative times a positive is going to give me a negative. Done.